Welcome to our new Ibble Bitch show, where we'll keep you in the loop with six of the most trendy, newsworthy stories of the day. Today we're talking about music festivals, the election, and Pokemon. Let's get going. With the 2020 presidential election coming up in November, Facebook is launching the largest voting information campaign in history as it aims to register 4 million people by providing informational resources across all its platforms like Instagram. The social media giant has been battling criticism from activists and lawmakers for failing to protect the platform from fake news and biased information, protecting democratic institutions for four years now, and is now investing heavily in election integrity by detecting human-guided and AI-powered moderation practices. A voting information center is already available on the platform where you can learn about public health news and other related topics before the 2020 election. African-American stereotypes in marketing have had its share of complaints for decades now and Quaker's brand is finally recognizing it with its Aunt Jemima syrup and pancake mix brand. The 130-year-old brand is being retired as Quaker Oats acknowledges that its origins are based on racial stereotypes. In an effort to progress racial equality, Quaker's is donating at least $5 million over the next five years to create meaningful support within black communities. The music festival Electric Blockaloo is coming to Virtual Live on Minecraft June 25th through the 28th, starring 950 artists performing among 65 stages. Due to COVID-19, Ray family felt a Minecraft festival was the best way to bring human interaction back into the music industry. The virtual fantasy land will allow attendees known as looters to interact with artists and other attendees, play games, and discover prizes. I don't know about y'all, but I was looking forward to going to Coachella and Burning Man this year, so I guess Minecraft's electric blockaboo will have to do for now. Black Lives Matter art is trending as it has become popular for art galleries in LA to sell COVID-19 and Black Lives Matter inspired art to support artists during the pandemic. Los Angeles Night Gallery launched an emergency online auction where 100% of the art sales went towards Black Lives Matter, which included LA's Action Bail Fund. Comic book and TV writer Gail Simone raised more than $310,000 on Twitter for Black Lives Matter in just two weeks after dubbing the hashtag comic Riders Challenge. Since then, more than 200 people have donated items for social justice causes. Attention gamers, Pokemon Snap is making a comeback. The old school Nintendo 64 game is being reimagined on Nintendo Switch, which is steps up from capturing photos of pocket monsters on Nintendo 64. The brand new game lets you travel through the unknown islands, lush jungles, and sandy beaches, so you can take pictures for your very own Pokemon photo decks. Photographs of Pokemon in previously unseen behaviors and natural habitats will be used to fill out your photo decks. The release date is still to be determined, but we'll let you know once there is an update, hopefully soon, because I really wanna play. The latest trend amongst gyms are these bubble-looking, plastic-wrapped workout pods. The plastic-wrapped workout pods could be, but hopefully not, the new fitness norm, as they are already being used at Inspire South Bay Fitness in Redondo Beach, California. Although coronavirus can likely travel through the one side of the pod that is open, the pod is still safer than places that don't take precautions at all. Since daily exercise is vital for a healthy lifestyle, stress, and depression, gyms are left with no choice but to get creative with precautions to get customers back in their doors. I don't know about you, but I think I'd rather work out at home instead of a smelly plastic square bubble in a gym. Thank you for tapping into the daily news with me. Remember, you can now post your very own videos onto our platform. I invite you to showcase your passions, gain a new audience, dive into a new interest, be current, and start trends. Thanks for tuning into Ibble Bits, and we'll see you later. Bye bye.